Here we are on the A phase of the Spankop pipeline, and this is the approach and analyze phase. Uh, and this is this is when you're really sort of determining, as it says here, determining the needs and really establishing that genuine interest. The difference here that you haven't just qualified that they're able um, from an authority perspective or a budgetary perspective to um, purchase your product or service but they are really sort of genuinely interested and the conversation is moving forward and, and what you ultimately want to achieve out of this phase in the SPANCOP uh, uh, process is establishing the needs uh, and confirm interest. So this is when they really turn around to you and you start getting into those conversations. So what you want to make sure you've got in place to be successful here is that you understand the customer's requirements and you're sort of diagnosing the needs um, that they have and that you have an appropriate offer um, that you can make out of your products or services that matches those needs that you've you've actually started to you know, think about the commerciality of the deal here you've started to sort of think about some pricing scenarios some contractual position you're starting to you know think about and put forward to them some some kind of view on the commerciality but you're not into this next phase of negotiate where we go, where we go after this. Um, you know, and I think here, if you're knowing, are you ready to move on to the next phase? Uh, I mean, this might be indeed where you get some ticks and you say, look, the credit assessment is complete and it's satisfactory. This is where you sort of ensure that you're, uh, you know, the decision making process, who else is involved in the decision uh, and, and that actually you are, uh, able to be you, you are actually talking to the decision maker at this phase there is nothing worse than moving from this phase thinking you're moving the sale forward to be told by um, the person you asked for the order that actually we need to involve um, Sarah the managing director or CEO at this phase uh, because this is where you should have flushed you should have flushed that out um, uh, th this is the last stage where you're making sure that you that you really do understand the needs, the priorities. Um, and, and this is where you are ultimately saying to the client, have we covered everything? Um, and are you now ready to move on to the negotiation phase? Now, I don't imagine you would use the questions as sort of bluntly as that. But but this is a really important step. That now you sort of say to them, look, we've have I uncovered all the needs? Have I answered all the questions? Have I provided you all of the information that you need to be able to move on to that negotiating phase? So I think this is a really exciting part of the sales process because this is where you're sort of starting to be sure that you're you're a match for each other and that the services and products you have are the services and products that they want or need. And as you leave this process, that is in that is ultimately what it is that you are you're you're leaving this stage with that the needs are agreed that both sides agree this is the right place okay